How are we everyone? My name is Max and I'm a MyProtein personal trainer. Today we are going to talk about HIIT versus LIST training. We're going to look at both of them individually in terms of what are they and what are the benefits and then it's down to you to decide which is right for you. Well, let's start with HIIT and what is it? HIIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training and is a form of cardiovascular exercise. There is no specific rule really with HIIT, it can be done anywhere, anytime. It involves short bursts of intense exercise of anywhere from 10 seconds to a few minutes, followed by a short period of rest, usually similar to the length of time worked before repeating this sequence. Most HIIT workouts last less than 30 minutes and can therefore be done a few times a week. An example of a HIIT session could simply be a circuit involving six different exercises which you perform back to back, where you work for 30 seconds, followed by 30 seconds rest, completing that circuit three times. HIIT has become incredibly increasingly more popular as it is perfect for people who want to exercise but don't have much free time so fits in perfect with busy modern day lives. So what are the benefits of HIIT? The most obvious really is the one already mentioned that it literally can be done anywhere anytime with no equipment and is easy to fit into busy schedules so if you're working a nine to five a full-time parent or just spend long hours in the office a quick 30 minute blast first thing in the morning may be the perfect option for you there are also studies to suggest that hit training can burn more calories than other types of training so maybe the better option for overall weight loss can boost your metabolic rate for longer periods after training which is sometimes referred to as the afterburn effect amongst other things like potentially reducing high blood pressure and improving your endurance levels. So let's now take a look at list training. Firstly, what does it stand for? List training is low intensity steady state training. This is basically the reverse of HIIT training. So instead of going all out for short, sharp bursts, you exercise gently for much longer periods. List training is generally any exercise that can be done lightly with little impact over long durations. So walking, light jogging, or a gentle cycle are all great examples of this. Now we know what list training is, what are the benefits of it? One is that it can be very convenient to fit in, as although it may take longer, simply walking to the shops rather than driving can be classed as you getting your list training done. For me, I get mine done daily first thing in the morning by taking my dog out for his walk and it's as simple as that. The big benefit, however, is that although it may not burn the most calories per workout, there are studies to suggest it does burn the most fat per calorie during a workout. This is because when there's more oxygen available to you, it's easier for your body to metabolize fat, and since you are not pushing yourself right to the limits and getting short of breath, there is plenty of oxygen to go around. This means that if fat loss, rather than overall weight loss is your goal, list training may be the answer. To briefly summarize, both types of training definitely have their place and each will fit into different people's goals and their lifestyles. And there may even be a place for both within yours as there is in mine. That just about covers everything today. Thank you for joining me. Make sure you're like and subscribe to the MyProtein channel and I'll see you all next time.